Hi, Heil Russell here, and I'm with Shelly Preston from Rare. How are you doing? I'm good. Great, thank you. Yeah. The reception here has been absolutely incredible. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, this is your first E3, right? My first E3, 11 years in the industry, my very first E3, and it's with Sea of Thieves as well, which is like really, really awesome. Was yeah. it everything it would, you hoped it would be? It was more, everything and more. It's been an absolute dream. It's been so well received. We've had a huge queue. People absolutely love the game, so it's been incredible, phenomenal. Yeah, the lines have been growing each and every day. I think yeah. four-hour queues at this point. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty incredible that people want to queue for that long to play our game, and and they're having a great time. It's been really cool. Uh, so tell us a little about, about yourself. How long have you uh, actually been at Rare? I've been at Rare about 10 and a half, 11 years. Really? Yeah, yeah. What was your uh, first game? Uh, I started out in testing. I was on um, DLC for Perfect Dark. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, and then um, tested a couple more things, uh, Viva Piñata, Diddy Kong Racing DS, and then um, my first game moved into design on Banjo Nuts and Bolts. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I've been there quite a while. So uh, what's your favorite game you worked on? Sea of Thieves. <laughs> <laughs> good answer, good answer. No, really genuinely. I've loved every game that I've worked on, but Sea of Thieves is really, really something special. Um, there's a, such a great team working on it, and I was um, on it from the very beginning when it was a really small core team, so it's really close to my heart, and it's, it's, a, it's an awesome experience, and the way it's being received is just like blowing us away. So yeah. So can you give us a, just a walkthrough? What do you do on sea of, the Sea of Thieves team? Like, what's your day-to-day -day activities? Um, it kind of varies. Like, um, so I'm a designer on Sea of Thieves. Um, so really, we just like we have a team of designers. So it's not just me. We have a, a, an awesome team of designers, and we just look after the experience and trying to uh, uphold the vision that we have for Sea of Thieves and, and um, prototyping features and seeing how they go, uh, moving stuff, uh, removing stuff, adding stuff, um, play testing it a lot. We play it like tons um, as, as a crew. We play together a lot. Um, and just uh, evolving the experience and trying to get it to be um, what we what we hope it can be for players. Yeah. Uh, what, what was your reaction when you found out you know you guys were going to be making a pirate game? Were you involved in that decision making process at all? And like, how, how were you excited? I wasn't involved in the decision, um, but um, I was really really excited. Yeah, it's just a, a, an awesome kind of um, a vision for the game. So yeah. I was kind of like badgering Joe to get onto the team. Like I was like, please get me onto the team, get me onto the team, and uh, yeah, it was awesome. So, uh, what, what? Give us some of your fondest memories from working on a, the game development so far, if you can share them. Uh, um, obviously, we don't want you to spill any any secrets that you guys uh, are holding close to the chest. Fondest memories. Ah. Oh. I have tons, but I really am not sure that there's any that I can share. But honestly, <laughs> honestly, like this is is right up there as one of my fondest memories. Like showing it to, um, showing it to players. I think when you guys came in and when when the fans and the competition winners came in, that was such an incredible, incredible time for us. Like we were kind of watching you guys play for the first time, and uh, it was really, really, uh, it was actually like really touching to see it, people play and have such a good time with it. So that's definitely up there. And, and this is up there as well. Yeah, this is the big reveal to the world here. Yeah. This is the first time other yeah. people besides us have exactly. played it outside yeah, of Rare. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, growing up, like, did you did you were you a Rare fan or did you? Yes. Yeah. I was a huge Rare fan. So, um, uh, Golden Eye, Diddy Kong Racing, they were pretty pretty much the first ones. I uh, had them kind of simultaneously, and they were the games that introduced me to the Rare like logo. And I was like, right, that that's it was pretty much the first company that I sort of recognised and started buying all the games. So. So I'm absolutely massive rare fan. And I didn't know that they were 10 minutes down the road from where I grew up. Like, I just oh. had no idea. So. Oh, real Seriously? <laughs> no, seriously. I didn't find that out until I decided I wanted to get into the games industry and I applied for a job. <laughs> what was your reaction? I mean, did you... I can't even imagine growing up like for us. It's it's across yeah, an ocean, yeah, so yeah. It's just um, it was. I was pretty blown away. I was like, I can't believe that they're. I think I had an idea they were kind of near, but I didn't know they were literally next door to, like Tricross Zoo, where I used to go on all my school trips as a child as well. And like rare was the zoo, door. right? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. So. I don't know, like, it's it's right now, like, this is the last day of E3, it has racked, Sea of Thieves has racked up so yeah. many Game of the Show nominations and awards, yeah. you've got an entire wall full, like, in your wildest dreams, did you think it would get the kind of recognition and, and buzz around the whole convention hall that it's been getting? I really didn't. I mean, we obviously, we love the game and we really hope that we have something special with it. 
Um, but really, all I was really thinking about was players coming in and playing it. I didn't even consider the fact that we'd get like these nominations and things like that. And to see all that, and it just keeps growing. And every time you kind of wander off and then come back, there's another one there. It's It's been absolutely incredible. It really has. Oh, it's so nice to see us as longtime Rare fans. Yeah. Obviously, you know that. But we're we're just so giddy that we're not the only ones excited for this game. Yes. And we you know we had to keep it a secret when we came yeah. out. So, so to see like now everybody in the games industry kind of buzzing about this game. Exactly, yeah, yeah it's, it's really cool. So uh, before we wrap this up, we've been asking this about all of our interview interviewees uh, here at E3. Uh, if you were a pirate and you get to be a pirate in Sea of Thieves, so you, you've kind of had the simulated experience, what would be your favorite pirate catchphrase in, in battle, when you're sinking ships, when you're drinking grog? What do you like to just yell out? It has to be Yar! Yar, yeah, it's a classic. All right, well, why don't we say it in uh, on three? We'll okay. say it together to the camera, all right? Okay. One, two, three. Yar! Yar!